So, what has Excelsior's domain been picking up from eBay? Let's have a look. Now, I have watched Evangelion. I'm not quite sure if I remember exactly what the heck it was about. It seems to be quite a complex plot. Um, but, you know, the, uh, the the mechs in it were, well, I'm assuming mech is the right term for them, um, that they are they are Evas, and, and they, are, they are mighty, mightily impressive beasts. And this is Eva 01, which has test written next to it on its arm. Um, but this is an art asylum uh, model. I say model. It could be an action figure. We, I've just had that debate with myself on another video, so <laughs> keep your eyes open for that one as well. Um, this was done by Art Asylum in 2001, so it's relatively old, but the, the colours on this just pop like there's n like nothing else, and I'm not collecting these at all, but I, I, I saw it for what I thought was a you know a pretty reasonable price, um, and I thought, well, I'd like to have a look at one. Um, and now you can have a look at one as well. <laughs> now, one of the one of the reasons why I was hesitating to call it an action figure momentarily there was because it doesn't have elbow joints. Now, coming from two thousand and one, I think I probably would have expected elbow joints, but the elbows are solid. Now, the second I move this, it's it's I'm not going to be able to stand it back up again, so I'm just going to have to do a bit of a show and tell on this one after I've picked it up. But you can see here, there are absolutely, there's no jointage on the the elbows at all. It's not just me. But he does have shoulder joints. That is definitely a thing. Um, his rather menacing head does rotate. And there are some very, very obvious ball joints on here as well, which is, you know, which is quite funny in a sense. His, his torso does swivel. And again, there's just you know, there's a very clear sort of ball joint in there. His hands don't his hands swivel, and they look to me like I'm missing a gun for him because it looks like he could he could hold something, um, and and indeed um, aim something there. I don't remember. I think they did have they did have very a couple of very powerful guns. I think in the series, but um, his leg articulation is deceptive in the sense that he has knees. He does actually have movable feet as well. And he does rotate at the hips. But stand, I do find standing him is quite difficult because the legs don't come in very far. They, they, they're kind of stuck there, it seems. Now, maybe I'm just not giving it enough oomph, but obviously I don't want to break him. Um, but the reason that I, I particularly sort of picked him up was purely from a display point of view. I thought the sort of the purple and green was really, really impressive um, as, as a sort of a, 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 you know, just a display piece full stop. And he is very, very, you know, anime-esque. Um, he's very, very classically sort of you know, Japanese designed anime mecha. So um, couldn't really couldn't really object to that, as I say, for the um, for the price. He's in terms of what he's. The feel of him is is quite soft plastic, and yet it doesn't feel like it's you know it's going to get damaged at all. It's almost like a vinyl sort of plastic, if, if that makes any sort of sense. Um, I mean, some of you may know far better than I do. I mean, I only really know Art Asylum, ironically, from um, the Star Trek ships that they've done. So uh, you know, I, I I would trust them in terms of accuracy and general kind of build quality. You know. Um, and of course, they then became Diamond Select. I mean, I imagine this was probably pre-Diamond Select days, perhaps just before they got absorbed into them. Um, and again, that will see Diamond Select figures, as you've probably seen on the channel, I really like as well. So I just thought I'd, I'd, I'd do a very quick video just to uh, show you to him, so I can tick that off my list. But if you've, um, you know, if you've collected this range in the past and you've got any sort of strong feelings about it, then obviously let me know in the comments and um, I'll see you for the next one. Cheers for now.